One of the things I sort of glossed over in a recent video about tabletop photography is the way I use small flags in my setups. Flags are pretty standard in photography lighting setups. They've got a couple of important uses. One, to block light from either the camera lens to prevent flare or haze, and two, to keep light from spilling onto the subject or somewhere else in the scene. For example, you might not want the light from your key light to spill over and contaminate the look of the background. Check out this video and my ebook, Product Photography Using Pocket Size Lights, for some examples of tabletop flags being used in small lighting setups. Now, in this video, I just want to quickly show you how I made my own flags for tabletop setups. I purchased a standard sheet of black foam core board. You can get these from art supply or crafting retailers. I cut the board up into several panels. Each panel measures approximately 7.5 by 10 inches or 19 by 25 centimeters. Next, I used the leftover piece to cut out the legs of the panels. These are the little base parts that fit perpendicular to the panel itself. The notches were cut here and here in such a way that when the ends meet, the base is flush with the panel. Now the actual shape of the base probably doesn't matter as much as just making sure it's long enough to keep it from falling over. I've cut mine so that the panel essentially has three long edges on the bottom, leaving more room on one side. What's nice about these is that they're cheap to make and cheap to replace if they get damaged or worn out over time. If you're doing detail shots or some type of product photography on location, these are great for that. They're extremely light and don't take up very much room because you can pack them flat. All right, that's how I created my own little do-it-yourself tabletop lighting flags. Don't forget to check out the video where I show some examples of using these and check out my ebook on product photography using pocket-sized lights. The links are in the description. Now I invite you to click that like button, subscribe, and comment. I'll see you next time.